60 seconds. You know, okay, okay. I don't, I don't eat pork. I'm afraid of worms. That's neither here nor there. Raul, we need names. One more time. For hey there, I'm Raul, and congratulations on successfully installing the game. Now, get over yourself and tell me how many people are playing. Ah, that's lovely. Now, player one, type in your name. Thanks, player two, your turn. Thanks, player three, you know the drill. Uh, oh yeah, you want a seven question game, tournament length, or full 21? I got it. I'm bleeding all over the copy. Player one, your buzzer is the letter Q is in Johnny Quest. The old one, the cool one. Player two, your B as in Raymond Burr. And player three, your buzzer is P as in I love Pancakes. Have a Just put a little pool. duct tape around it. It'll okay, hold. Can we bring well, what oh, hello. Uh, you're gonna get a bunch of questions. First person to hit their buzzer gets first crack the cash. Pick the answer you think is right and hit the number on the keyboard. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. Good luck. Nine, We're going here. Eight, Lose seven, the desktop. Six. Okay, five, go to black. Four. Don't forget three. To try even Stand by, people. Pot. Cross the line of good taste into great taste. you're not too attached to one another because well let's just say it could get very ugly in here all right as we say in the business let's start all right first order of business screws okay screws and how to use them if you want to force your neighbor to answer a question that you know they don't know buzz in and slap that s key that's how you screw at least that's what i've been told lights camera action up to you. What's next? For the enjoyment of everyone during question one, please, no unnecessary talking. Shh, chew on this. Why not a duck? And you pop a right answer, you got 2,000 bucks. All right, imagine you throw a party and invite both the Marx Brothers and the Three Stooges. If you wanted to formally introduce the Marx Brothers to the Three Stooges using the Stooges' real names, how would you properly refer to Larry Curley and Moe? Mr. Besser, Mr. Dorita, and Mr. Howard, Mr. Feinberg, Mr. Horowitz, and Mr. Horowitz, Julius Leonard and Adolph, or Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, and Dr. Howard? Layer 2, grab it! Joe Besser and Joe Dorita were two guys that came in after Shemp, who first replaced Curly. Talk about your Curly Shuffle. <laughs> Player one, player three, do something. All yours, player one. Larry Curley and Moe were respectively Mr. Feinberg, Mr. Horowitz, and Mr. Horowitz. Feinberg, Horowitz, and Horowitz sounds like a sleazy law firm. Oh, wise guy, huh? <laughs> Now showing tired of jerky. Thousand bucks if you get it. Just step up and take a swing at this one. If you want to cook a meal with grits, you serve up some boiled corn. But say you want to cook a meal with true grit. Based on the characters in the movie, what will you serve? Oxtail soup with sage, rooster garnished with peppers, coffee in a dish of candy, or whatever's in the chicken coop. Player two, it's yours. True Grit features John Wayne as Rooster Cogburn and Robert Duvall as Lucky Ned Pepper. But I don't think Duvall would want to garnish anyone, even the Duke. Hmm, I wonder what player two is gonna pick. A question so real you can almost touch it! <laughs> Filmed in Spectacular 3D! <laughs> Say hello to the skinny on the great one. This one's worth a grand. Put it in gear, cause here we go. 
say that instead of shooting from the blue line, NHL star Wayne Gretzky shoots at the thin blue line. Given that documentary subject, at whom or what would he be shooting? Police officers, a home security system, cocaine and designer colors, or performers in the ice capades? Player three, do it! The title of the film, The Thin Blue Line, refers to the police, the thin blue line that separates civilization from anarchy. And if Wayne Gretzky shoots a puck at the cops, he'll probably serve a 10-year misconduct penalty at the big house. Player three, tell me what's on your mind. Sweet pick. All right, players one and two, get out of the way, because this one's just for player three. Get ready for a diss or dab. This diss or dad's category name is... The inmates are running the asylum! Now I'm gonna read off seven characters, and for each one, you tell me if he or she is from Pee-wee's Big Adventure, or one flew over the cuckoo's nest. If the character is from Pee-wee's Big Adventure, press one. If he or she is from one flew over the cuckoo's nest, press two. And if you want to skip one, press four. I'll give you 500 bucks for each right answer, and you lose 500 for a wrong answer or one you don't get to. Alright, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Let's dance. Dottie, Pee-wee or Cuckoo? Mac. Billy Bibbit. Chief Bromden. Amazing Larry. Large Marge. One more. Simone. That's all she wrote. You got four right, you missed three. Hard to be enthusiastic about that. Let's throw it into your total. All right, there's a little scrap for you. Let's move on. You have the honors player, too. It's, it's a five! This one's called, It's What's Inside That Counts. $1,000 at stake on this one. Say, did you know that Linda Hunt won a Best Supporting Actress Oscar in 1983 for her role in The Year of Living Dangerously? Well... If Linda Hunt accepted the award for her role in The Year of Living Dangerously, dressed as her character in the movie would probably dress, what would she most likely be wearing? A toga, a tuxedo, a bridesmaid dress, or nothing? <laughs> Player three, who gets the pointy end? <laughs> Gotta answer it, Player one. A bridesmaid dress? Nah, no, she'd never be able to wear it again. Player two, player three, who wants it? Take a shot, player two. Oh, that's not good. Player three. Nothing. I didn't know Linda Hunt was in Showgirls. Wow, you guys suck. Isn't that something? Clothes make the man. In her Oscar-winning performance, Linda Hunt plays a man. So, why didn't she win Best Supporting Actor? Hypocrites? That's what they are. Player two, take your pick. She was built like an interstate cloverleaf, made for speed with all the right curves. All I could think of was six. Let's see what we got going. Let's not spend the night together. And you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. Pull out your antenna and get ready to buzz. In the Rolling Stones concert film, Gimme Shelter, from what could the audience in the film use a little shelter themselves? An earthquake, crazed hell's angels, Tom Jones guest appearance, or a hurricane? Oh, player one, who's getting screwed? You gotta answer it, Player 3. Earthquake? Now, I, I think it was Carol King who felt the Earth move under her feet, not the stones. <laughs> player... <laughs> player 1, you've just been screwed. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> player 2, grab it! Gimme Shelter shows the ill-fated Stones concert at Altamont where the Hells Angels that were hired for security go nuts and start whacking people. <laughs> Hells Angels for security. Brilliant idea, guys. How come you didn't get the Manson family to cater? <laughs> Layer 2, gimme something.
for the attack. When you see two words that match, hit your buzzer. You get it right, you get 2,000 in the bank. Get it wrong, I'm making a withdrawal of 2,000. Just one more thing to remember. Remember the clue. The two words that match have to fit this clue. I didn't catch your last name. Well, let's see if you can catch this. Good luck. A win is a win no matter how you slice it, and you sliced it pretty damn thin. So I leave you with these words. You don't know okay, Jack. good show, everybody. Uh, Raul, could you ask the players what they want to do now? I know you're listening. Check out the names on the high scoreboard. Hey, I wonder if it had anything to do with the fact that the board was totally empty to begin with. Well, when you're done patting yourselves on the back, let me know if you want to play again. Gangly, but I'm over it now, and you can be too. The former Child Star Support Network. Listen, we can't all be Jodie Foster and Lawrence Fishburne. Some of us have to be Justin Henry, Tatum O'Neill, and Anthony Michael Hall. Look, you can go do infomercials, or you can come make a whole new group of friends. <laughs>